Axis Vertebra C2, also called the axis, is the strongest of the cervical vertebrae. C1, carrying the cranium, rotates on C2. Body and dents. The distinguishing feature of C2 is the blunt tooth-like dents which projects superiorly from its body. Both the dents and the spinal cord inside its coverings or meninges are encircled by the atlas. The dents lie anterior to the spinal cord and serves as the pivot about which the rotation of the head occurs. The dents is held in position against the posterior aspect of the anterior arch of the atlas by the transverse ligament of the atlas which extends from one lateral mass of the atlas to the other, passing between the dents and spinal cord, forming the posterior wall of the socket that receives the dents. Thus, it prevents posterior or horizontal displacement of the dents and anterior displacement of the atlas. Either displacement would compromise the portion of the vertebral foramen of C1 that gives passage to the spinal cord. Vertebral arch Pedicles They are concealed superiorly by superior articular processes. A deep and wide inferior vertebral notch is present on the inferior surface and is placed in front of the inferior articular process. Shallow superior vertebral notch is placed on the upper border of the lamina behind the superior articular process. Articular facets Superior articular facet It occupies the upper surface of the body and pedicle. It is a large, flat, circular facet which is directed upwards and laterally. Laterally, it overhangs foramen transversarium. It articulates with the inferior facet of atlas vertebrae to form the atlantoaxial joint. Inferior articular facet. It lies posterior to the transverse process. It is directed downwards and forwards to articulate with the third cervical vertebra. Transverse processes. They represent true posterior tubercles only and are very small. Foramen transversarium is directed upwards and laterally. Spine. It is large, thick, and very strong. It is deeply grooved inferiorly. The tip is bifid and terminating in two rough tubercles. It has a large bifid spinous process that can be felt deep in the nuchal groove. The superficial vertical groove at the back of the neck. Attachments. Dense. At its apex, it provides attachment to the apical ligament. On each side, below the apex, it provides attachment to the alar ligaments. Body. Anterior surface of the body receives insertion of longus coli and gives attachment to the anterior longitudinal ligament. Posterior surface of body provides attachment to the posterior longitudinal ligament, membrane tectoria, and vertical limb of the cruciate ligament. Transverse process. Tip of the transverse process gives origin to levator scapulae, scalene medius anteriorly, and splenius cervices posteriorly. Upper and lower surfaces of the process gives attachment to the intertransverse muscles. Spine. It gives attachment to the ligamentum nuchae, semispinalis cervices, rectus capitis posterior major, inferior oblique, spinalis cervices, interspinalis, and multifidus. Clinical anatomy. Hangman's fracture. It is a fracture of the pedicles of the axis, which is C2, which may occur as a result of judicial hanging or automobile accidents. In this fracture, the cruciform ligament is torn and the spinal cord is crushed, causing death.